Welcome back to Drive 615. My name is Byron and today we're at the Michelin Lawrence Proving Ground here in sunny South Carolina with Brimbo for the Sensify driving experience where we will journey beyond. The word Sensify actually comes from the combination of the word sense and then the word simplify. So sense in that they'll use AI technology to perceive external stimuli and then also simplify in that the actual system itself is a little bit smaller and allows for more functionality and more flexibility. The format of today is going to be 45 minutes in a car equipped without Sensify, then 45 minutes taking the exact same course in a car with Sensify around the proving grounds in different driving scenarios, some wet, some dry, some high speed, some low speed. I'm going to share with you my experiences. You can see the car on the track out right now does not have Sensify, then they're going to switch over into this. I'll have a GoPro in both cars share a little bit from each format, but before we go out and do that, let's take a listen to one of the software engineers so he can give us some insight onto the Sensify experience. We are here with Brimbo software engineer, Zach Spikestraw, and he's gonna explain the Sensify braking system to us. So I guess go ahead and give us a little overview of what's going on in the front of this uh, vehicle here. Yeah, so we have a pedal simulator in the front here, which is kind of like a traditional master cylinder. When you're pushing the pedal, you're pushing straight into a master cylinder and then we have a spring pack that we can calibrate to give you a nice pedal feel. But the brake pressure is not actually going to the wheels like in a traditional system. Instead, we read the pedal stroke and then send a signal to our ECUs, which then create pressure requests that we create on the front calipers here. Okay. Now the way we do that is with electro-hydraulic actuators, and they basically have a little piston that pushes in and replicates what you would normally be doing, which is the master cylinder pushing pressure straight to the wheels. So it decouples the driver from the wheels, which allows us to do a little more control. And it also gives the driver a very, very consistent feedback from the pedal and a very comfortable feedback. Excellent, yeah, that's, that's fascinating. So it's, so it's independently going to each wheel versus the typical mainstream where it's like all, you know, yes. constant amongst them. And that's a really good point. That's something that separates this from traditional braking systems is there's actually two of those actuators here in the front. So each wheel is getting its own actuator okay. as opposed to having one box that's having to control all four wheels. Excellent. Yeah. And I guess as far as like configurability and flexibility in, in like the vehicle design, it can also allow for some, some flexibility as well. A lot. So now you've got these little parts to package instead of a big box. So you can put those in more creative places as opposed to having to find somewhere where a big box fits. Absolutely, no, that, so yeah. so you're saying versus like, the, it's a lot s smaller underneath, like, you know, th visualizing a lot smaller than the typical system. Absolutely, okay. far more compact, yeah. Excellent, so then down here, as far as like anything you wanna point out here on the actual, you know, wheel setup itself, I guess, braking system. <laughs> this is all pretty typical. This is um, just a standard fixed caliper, something that Brembo's been doing for you know decades now. Uh, same with the rotors and pads, everything's standard down here. So it's really the electro-mechanical system up here that things. is, yeah, really Excellent. changed. And then back in the rear, in the, in the, the presentation with Stefan, this is the CEO of North America, he was talking about how now there's less brake, or no no fluid going yeah. back here, no brake fluid. So, no brake so give fluid, us a yeah. little insight there on what's what's going on in the back, back yeah. wheels. So this is, this is really interesting because this is taking it even a step further. So not only is the driver decoupled, but you're in a situation where you have no hydraulic fluid in the back. Um, they're electromechanical and it's just a motor that pushes in a piston and that puts the brake pressure on the wheel. So this is really good because now you're not running any hydraulic fluid. There's no bleeding process to do. We can integrate your parking brake directly into that system. Very compact, very easy to package, but then you still get the individual actuator control on every single wheel. So again, two controllers back here, two controllers up there, you're gonna get the best possible control and best feel out of the vehicle. Absolutely, no, it yeah. seems seems incredible. It's fascinating technology and it's incredible to see how far things have come. So I'm getting you know, excited to get out on the track and I'm gonna experience what it's like and uh, I'll see all the stuff you talked about put into practice. So I'm, I'm excited and uh, thanks again for your, your insight. Yeah, well thanks for coming and we're excited to get out there and show it to you. All right guys, so I'm going 50 miles an hour. I'm gonna do a full ABS stop in the wet zone here. Three, two, one. Wow. Last, uh, that like, <laughs> you, you feel your brain like moving to the for front of your head a little bit. Um, but again, we're not in the Sensify equipped vehicle. We're just in the baseline one right now, just getting a feel for it. I've done a few stops. We're gonna head over to the next track. Guys, this is gonna terrifying. We're about what? to go. We're about to go. Seventy. 
five miles an hour to a straight stop here. Ooh. <laughs> That's intense, guys. If you've never gone 75 miles an hour and slammed on the brakes, it's crazy. But that was a, it's good to get a good a feel for it. Um, still processing that. <laughs> my brain, I think my, half my brain still back there. 50 miles an hour on this one. Getting ready to turn in to the apex of the turn. Okay. Do you feel a yeah. little bit of oversteer? I did feel a little bit. I kind of like, yep. like skipped a little bit to the right. Uh, again, then we're in the nonsense. Kind of wanted to, yeah. Yeah. Wanted to take you wanted, to the shoulder. It's exactly what happened. Yeah, I felt like I was kind of like mm -hmm. skirting down as I'm braking. I'm going to turn to avoid the cones here. You can see that are stood up straight in front of us. So this is going to be very interesting. Three, two, one, break. Okay. Much better. Yeah, yeah. I got that. You um, feel kinda, that? I felt like it mm -hmm. still uh, I skipped a little bit. Is that is that kind of like stuttering. I mean, that's part of the ABS. It is. That's like the it an anti-lock system. Yeah, guess, basically. it's the wheels locking and releasing, kind of giving you the stutter. Okay. Um, and a little, little stutter on the pedal too. Yeah, yeah, I did feel, I did kind of feel that feedback on my, on my uh, accelerator, or the brake pedal rather. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm trying to take like mental memory notes because we're going back to back 45 minutes in this, then straight into the 45 minutes in the car that has to sensitize. So I'm kind of getting a baseline for this, but this is a true baseline because I've never actually like experienced some of this stuff like in the real world, I've never had to lock up my brakes this fast. I've never had to do these obstacles. You know, you see like a squirrel run across the street, you might like kind of tap the brakes and swerve, but this is a true experience. And this is again, talking to that safety point that I talked about earlier, where in scenarios where this is actually happening, it's gonna be incredible to have like this, this safety when you know that if there's a deer going across the street or a child or pedestrian, something like that, then you truly feel safe and you truly feel like it's, got your best interest at hand and you feel just again safe and connected and, and then confident when you're driving it with the, the Sensify experience. Up at the top, that's a left hand turn. And oh gosh, and turn. I feel like we're going to... Okay, again, I kinda, uh, the trend that I'm kind of noticing on these stops is I am kind of like, whichever way I'm tripped to, turning, it kind of is like naturally drawing me and drifting me towards that that pattern so i'm assuming with the sensify it's going to be much more planted much more straight line and grounded but i'm excited to see and experience that for myself it's really cool they got these like little irrigation like sprinklers every six feet or so to really simulate like wet driving scenarios as if it were actually raining and you can see here on the side it's kind of funneling out so actually up here is going to get a little bit deeper she said there's a point where the car could even hydroplane a little bit so we're going to let off the gas a little bit through there just, yeah, I can feel like it's a little bit mm -hmm. deeper. Well, let's try the obstacle at 45 this time. Okay. Cool. Oh, man. <laughs> again, guys, I don't get nervous about... So I mean, I shouldn't be nervous because, again, like, this car is capable of it. But it's just weird, like, driving 45 miles an hour on a, on a very wet track, knowing that you're going to have to, like, you know, make sure you properly uh, brake. So I'm going to brake. I'm going to brake and then turn left as Correct. I'm braking. Okay. That was good. You okay. feel that? Yeah, I definitely did feel mm -hmm. that for sure. I felt like the back end kind of uh, maybe even like hiked up a little bit and kind of mm -hmm. feathered around. Um, so and also the understeer that had you almost clipping the coat. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I uh, I did notice that. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. That's pretty good. Again, I, uh, you know, this is our wrapping up our last few laps of this car, so I'm excited to get into the Sensify and just really experience again that that confidence and the driving pleasure that comes along with it, and just uh, all of it bundled into one. You know, we heard from the software engineer earlier, and they got some good insights. But again, the best way to experience things is to actually get out and do it. So I'm, you know, really excited to get out on the track, put it through its paces, the same paces that we went through with this. And now that I got a good baseline, a good understanding really going to see how this Brembo Sensify experience really is. Okay, so we're going 50 miles an hour, we're going to do a full ABS stop in the Sensify vehicle. Wow. Actually, yeah, I actually immediately noticed that. Like yeah. just how smooth that was. It didn't have like that typical lock up. I didn't like track one way to the left or the right. It was like, it's almost like where I wanted to stop, it stopped. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Right? Right? I didn't think I was going to, I was, I was a little like, worried I wasn't going to be able to notice it like quick enough but that was like just right off the bat like first stop not even anything technical just a 50 mile an hour dry stop I can instantly tell it's still a full ABS stop right but yep. just with the Sensify added on yeah it definitely didn't feel like it had as much like yeah. 
lock up. Is that is that fair to say that it wasn't like as much skip? I guess it's called skip. Yeah, skipping. Yeah. Yeah, skipping um, micro locks. It, okay. So what you're feeling there is in a traditional hydraulic system, you open up valves and hydraulic pressure flies through. Well, you are limited by how much, how quickly you can open and shut that. Okay. And so you're having bigger decreases in force than you would actually prefer, whereas ours is always modulating very exactly. Got it. Yeah. So that gives you... It's like very linear. Exactly. Yeah, it is like... It, it, very, it's like yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like a, if we were looking at like a, a graph or something, it's more like, instead of like a jagged down, it's more like a... You literally just described the difference between the traces. Maybe I should be a hey, maybe I should be a uh, maybe I should be an engineer, drive system five. You know, yeah, I like my uh, accounting job, but hey, you're no. miscalling your yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm I'm totally kidding. But that is that is interesting. That like to, again, like just a typical non-engineering person. Again, I don't have that type of mindset. Yeah. Is able to just like to, to understand and feel that, so it's pretty it's pretty cool, pretty cool yeah. experience. We're ready to do a 50 mile an hour stop here. Instead of on the dry spot, we're gonna do it on the wet spot. It's pretty cool to have this, uh, you know, interesting dynamics here on the proving grounds. So we're going about 50 miles an hour right now. Gonna do a full lockup. Yeah, it's it still super smooth. I felt just a, a, a little bit, but I mean, it's mm -hmm. gonna be natural, like when you're in on, on wet on wet surfaces. But yeah, it's very like there's. I feel like there's no hesitation on it. It basically just like it's 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 good to go. Like when you stop you're confident that it's gonna stop so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get up to 50 miles an hour and then Zach sitting in the passenger seat the software engineer is gonna implement an emergency auto brake so I'm gonna take my feet off and it's just gonna brake for us so we're gonna you know essentially see what it's like to fully brake with like no hesitation no input I mean from myself simply just the car and it'd be kind of cool to experience so we're gonna go ahead and get up to 50 and let him uh, let him do that yep three two one Whoa. <laughs> That was crazy. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I knew that was coming, but then like you did it and I was like, oh my God, it, yeah, that was crazy. It also happened so quick. Yeah. It was like a blur. Can we do it one more time? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all right, here we go. Yep. Yeah, if you want to go even a little faster. Okay. All right, well, yeah, we'll do like 55. Um, yeah. Man, that was like a roller coaster. All right, guys, so we're gonna get up to 55 and he's gonna again implement the auto emergency stop. So we are going, okay. Three, two. <laughs> that's crazy and it's just again it's like so I mean obviously it's abrupt that we're going from like 50 to zero and like so quick but it's still smooth to where I don't feel like I'm like totally like discombobulated and jarred so yeah well done well done Sensify that's uh that's good again like it, it is like a bl like a comfort for sure I feel comfortable but also safe at the same time so that's that's fascinating so we're gonna go from 70 to zero coming around the track now Alright, three, two, one. Yeah, that's just super smooth. I mean, that was literally 70 to zero. And uh, yeah, it just like took me like right right where I wanted to go. I mean, I didn't, I, in that case, I didn't necessarily have like a spot where I wanted. I wasn't like looking at a spot. Maybe I ought to do that sometime. But I, yeah, it basically just like, you know, I, uh, I felt no hesitation. Like I knew it was just like set. Guys, right, so we're going 50 miles an hour into this turn. Slammed on the brakes. That is just nuts. How again? There's like no wheel hop, no wheel skip in that in that sense. And I was going 50 miles an hour straight into the turn. And I think of it's like almost like a heat-seeking missile, essentially. Like where I point this car and where I direct it, it's gonna take me there confidently, safely, and like that was enjoyable. It wasn't like I don't know. Sometimes when you slam on the brakes, you're kind of like like rocks your world but that was almost like kind of fun i'm like yeah hey, keep doing this you know that was, but that was awesome so yeah brumbo sensify absolutely the way to go as far as like the technology and it's beyond my technical capabilities and just my in my wheelhouse but it's just fascinating and again it, it works and you can actually feel it and see it and experience it um yeah it's, it's, it's awesome so we're gonna get, come up here i'm gonna go 70 miles an hour i'm gonna slam on the brakes and when I did this last time, I didn't actually pick a point, but I'm gonna kind of visualize a point and then to see if I can get it to stop uh, stop on that. Um, we should put a dime out there, see if I can stop on the uh, <laughs> stop on the dime. Now I see where that phrase comes from, I guess, essentially, because yeah, we're going 70 miles an hour. I have a point in mind. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Wow, okay, I need to take a moment to like re refresh, but the first time I did that in the other, the nonsense of my car, I felt like my brain just like, like flew to the front of my head. We did the same thing. I maybe even go a little bit faster, like 72. And I don't feel like that happened. I feel like just way more, like my internals of my body feel just a lot more. I guess it's just like, the, again, the, the technology and how this was designed, it's like, it puts less strain on you maybe, I feel like even um, just because it's such a softer and more, uh, you know, purposeful stop that, that I feel fine. Um, so again, from the, from the driving pleasure standpoint, from the safety standpoint, I can see how it's just perfect. So we got another one here, 50 mile an hour stop, basically in the corner, going 50. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Again, so we're, we were just talking here off camera, and basically that you feel better when you're doing these brakes because in your traditional ABS braking system, it like kind of like rocks your world. Sure, you're kind of like yeah. staggered along, but in this case, it's like very linear and smooth and just constant braking and holds that braking power through. So you're not like all, again, like jostled at the end of it. It's more just like kind of like gradual. And, and uh, yeah, I definitely can feel better, um, not from the safety side, but it's from like the, the nausea side. You know, going 50 miles an hour slamming on the brakes makes you kind of nauseous, gives you a headache, but uh, I definitely don't feel that in this car. Can't say the same for, for the other one. So we're going 40 into this one. This one is like the tougher one. It's a little bit of an obstacle avoidance. So we're gonna go up to 40. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's almost like, yeah, it's, it felt very planted in the rear. When I hit that in the nonsense of my car, yeah. I felt the back end kind of come up. It was almost like I'm like kind of like on my tiptoes, kind of like hunching in. And this one, I just felt very grounded, very planted from all angles of the car. Um, and it didn't feel like, I felt the pressure go to the, the front of the vehicle, the nose of it, but it wasn't like like scared where I was gonna like kind of fishtail or feel like a hydroplane or anything like that. So. Again, we're hitting that 40 miles an hour on a wet, wet condition, so uh, that was cones that we were looking out for in that case, but you can imagine if you were doing that, like again, like I mentioned, dog running across the street, child, pedestrians, anything like that could definitely, uh, you know, be like a life or death type scenario where in, in this case it would definitely s save someone, um, just being able to break that quickly and break that smoothly. So it's not like algorithmic learning as far as like tracking your every day out of the month, but like, no, more so like your current input of right now, my turning radius is like exactly 45 degrees and my yep. throttle pressure is at like 10, it, it's gonna know to like kind of yeah. adapt. So you put your, like you said, you got steering angle at 45 degrees, then we're gonna go into our software and say, okay, only give 75% braking force at first and okay. then adjust. Interesting. And that's why you're not feeling that pitch forward of yeah. the car. That's your electronic brake distribution is we're actually looking at the scenario that we're in and saying, okay, wait, limit it at first yeah. and then see where the vehicle's at before we put in too much force. That's fascinating. That makes that makes total sense I and mean, from like a logical perspective of how you could, and the typical cars just like, nah, just slam on the brakes, you know, <laughs> uh, just lock them all up. We don't care what you're doing. Um, so 40, so that's nuts. Yeah. yeah. So with that one, you could easily have done that at 45 or yeah. 50. If you want to try it at a little bit higher speed, I you definitely yeah. got the we'll, margin there. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a little bit faster on that one. But again, uh, hearing you say that and like putting it into context makes a lot more sense that like there are different inputs in the vehicle that again your traditional ABS, ABS braking system like overlooks. I mean, it's just really not paying attention now. As far as like the the road conditions too, it's factoring that in as well to a certain extent or, or not necessarily. It's more so just like the inputs of the actual car. It is in the sense of when you hit the brakes, we can tell based on how much slip is created with the amount of pressure. Are we on a low mu, high mu or a medium mu situation? Okay. And then we do use a different parameter set for those different situations. Okay, for the non-technical people, mu is... <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. That's no, it's all right. The, um, the grip of the surface. Okay. So ice would be a low mu. So if we sense that you're on ice, then we're going to use a very different parameters than if we sense that you're on a high mu asphalt, for instance. Okay. So, Absolutely. Yeah. No, that's that's very fascinating. So and, and it can pick up on that pretty quickly. I'm assuming that, that, that like as soon as it like the first little bit kind of. Yeah, that's that's fascinating. So again, we're on wet surfaces right now, so I guess it's like a medium. Exactly. 
Exactly. We've been Mew. using all of our medium U parameters right now. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It's been an awesome experience out here with Brimbo and Sensify experiencing you know, both uh, braking systems, traditional ABS, and then obviously the Sensify, and this, let me tell you how much more superior this was. I mean, the comments that I made when I was out on the track probably speak for themselves, but again, it was an absolutely incredible opportunity to drive it. Thanks again to the Brembo team for the opportunity. I had an absolute blast. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And for now, keep on driving. We'll see you in the next video.